the very first time, we have Until Dawn available on PC. Thanks to PlayStation for sending me a retail PC code. Super appreciate it. This game has um, a screen reader feature. This you guys might have seen my PS5 gameplay already. With ray and volume at any time uh, and accessibilities. No. Thank you, though. Uh, I never know how to select these things. Um, limited data. There we go. Enjoy that. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to do like a little bit of a tester. I have a 1490 um, and a 7950X AMD CPU. So hopefully we can run it maxed out. Hopefully. Oh, what's this? Um, sure. Yeah. Maybe I'm responsive for a moment. Oh, shoot. Can I skip this? <laughs> uh, skip for now. I do not have a dual sense currently. Um, yeah, so that'll be interesting. I mean, I do, but I want to check it out on Xbox well, with an Xbox controller. Settings. What are we looking at in terms of video settings? Uh, let's go full screen. There's a frame limiter, which I guess is good. I'm expecting this game to be quite um, quite challenging. I believe it is made in Unreal 5, which is uh, not the easiest engine to deal with. What's the aspect ratio? Oh, is it like a, a letterbox thingy? Okay, all right. Um, Ultra, yep. We're gonna try and max out all of the settings. It's interesting that they didn't select Ultra in all of these. Slightly worrying. <laughs> Uh, virtual shadow maps. Oh, on. Yes, sure. Upscale method is currently off. Oh, ray tracing on currently. I'm gonna turn it off for now. So no upscale method on at the moment. And let's turn all these on. Oh boy, this could be interesting. <laughs> uh, this could be very interesting. Right, I believe we are good to go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Probably missed something, I always do. Um, confirm. Yes, confirm these settings, please. And let's begin, Until Dawn on PC. Uh, so far, my initial impressions have been pretty okay-ish. On PS5, it didn't run like a, like a steady 60 or, it felt like 30 FPS, basically, most of the time. This is already 57 FPS. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this should be interesting. This could be, I mean, is it 99% as well, the GPU? Oh boy. Uh, yeah, so initial impressions are, are okay. I feel like the game's probably a little bit too expensive. I also feel like this should have been like an upgrade path. If you guys own the original game, ha having to pay the full amount again seems a bit much. So price is a bit high. Graphics look very, very good though. And the game was still pretty good. I, I really like this game. It's like a bit of like a mixed reaction, really. Hopefully the PC launch goes well. <laughs> The butterfly effects. There will be a full um, let's play. Oh, what happened there? Oh boy. Something my volume just went off. That was weird. What the hell? <laughs> what happened there? Did you want to see that? That was very weird. Um, yeah, there will be a full let's play of the PS5 version up on my channel at some point. YouTube's just taking ages to process it for some reason. We're being 4K. Um, the best ending, that kind of thing. Just keep an eye out for that. I don't want that. There was a, a very long pre-shader um, before I started the game. It was at least, at least like four minutes, maybe more four or five minutes, which is fine. I, I prefer that than having a better experience in terms of in-game. Pre-shader compilation. There we go. Got there in the end. Holy moly, that does look good, though. <laughs> that does look good. Oh, 40 FPS. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> this, is, this is rough. But I also did turn on all the settings as well, so...
here we go. Uh, oh, it does. Oh, what the hell? Ah! Ah! So I correct it. Ah! So instead of having like motion controls. Oh, wow, foul. <laughs> you have to actually like physically move it into place to like keep it. Clearly, I fouled. Oh, we're doing it again, are we? Alright. I would recommend if you have a PC version of the game, uh, sorry, the PC version of Until Dawn, use a dual sense. 100%. It's the best controller anyway. It's an interesting way of going about it. Yeah. Oh no, I forgot to put the streamer mode on. Uh oh. Music. <laughs> um, there it is. So again, you don't have to do this, but obviously for YouTube reasons, I have to do this. Do I think there's anything I can do to like improve performance? I mean, I did tick literally every option. Maybe a bit of V-Sync might help. Uh, I mean, it's maxed out. I think the virtual shadow maps is probably quite expensive and all this ray tracing stuff is pretty expensive. Enhanced ray tracing effects, reflections. All right, we're good to continue. Yeah, this bit literally just goes silent. Charming. I can now see why the PS5 was struggling. <laughs> this game is tough. This game is tough, tough. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Someone's had too many. I realized Tess was the one of the main culprits. Unbelievable. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Not ironic. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Sam knows. Sam knows it's a step too far. I wonder if this game needs maybe like a driver, maybe? Maybe. Maybe that help. I don't think there's one out. <laughs> Probably should have checked. Should we have a look around? 
because this is the first one we actually see actual gameplay. It's a little bit frustrating. The GPU just isn't maxing out. It's like 60, 70%, which is kind of frustrating. That's normally like a lack, to, a lack of optimization. A letter? I mean, you can sort of get away with it in this game, to be honest. Well, to a certain extent. Little message from Mike, apparently, which is obviously completely made up. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh boy. Little lacy top. This is, again, they probably should have replaced the audio here, but basically there's a, a soundtrack in the background. I'm guessing it's gone. Okay, we're muted then. Oh, great. So it's 99% now. Well, it was. The butterfly effect. Bit Dutch courage. I think Tess is probably one of the characters that looks most different from the original. But what is she planning on doing this evening as well? Is she going like, just in for a kiss? Or is she... This is so cruel. This is so cruel. Hey, Hannah. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Small. <laughs> oh, my God. She's taking her shirt off. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, hey, honey, don't. It's just a stupid prank, okay? That would be stupid little GoPro. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah. This all got out of. Question. Should Sam Hannah? have stepped up sooner? Hannah. Hmm. I'm pretty sure she was just sitting downstairs. Ooh, 27 FPS. Lovely. Um, find the others. Josh isn't going to be useful, is he? So this intro like almost like tutorial part Hannah. and you can't really change the outcome uh, of what happens on? where's she going it's fine she just can't take a joke it was just a prank han what did you do i just messed around Deb. it wasn't serious you jerks i should all go as well so, should we go after her you know i kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now mike it, they always stay back. I think they just all stay back. That's what they do. Unbelievable. What a great friends they are. Okay, it's 99% now. It does look visually incredible. I mean, it must be, I must admit, it's one of those games you probably could just run at 40, 50 FPS. Obviously, more optimization would be nice, but... Whoop. We 
have a torch. I mean, look at that lighting. That is wow. You can also direct the beam. There's a few like little stars here and there. Also, if you do want that 60 experience, you can turn off a lot of settings as well. I'm sure there's quite a few I could turn off. Look at the snow. Mm. It's quite realistic, actually. Hannah? Oh. oh, dear. Personally, uh, I think this is a great discount game at some point. Maybe with a few updates. Um, I mean, if you're desperate to play a Halloween game, then maybe this, maybe you fork out the full price. I know for the most part what the, uh, the enemy is in this game, but I'm sure there's like a, some presence of ghosts that we're not quite aware of. I don't know. Look at the light in there. That's impressive. Very pretty game. So do you think I was a Windigo? The flamethrower guy. Oh, here we go. Whoop. Don't bang your head. I'm um, fast. Always fast. The faster route is normally more risky, but um, I would advise always taking it if you want the uh, the better ending. Um, full of footprints. Sure. Go, go, go! Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, I think that was the wrong way. Jesus, fuck, shit. I don't think I've actually ever Damn, done this Hannah, before. Where are you? just ran back to her room or something. Why should it go outside for? She is an absolute nuisance, isn't she, Emma? <laughs> She's so annoying. She's done everything wrong. Slipping. I can help you. Oh. That's not good, is it? God damn. Ooh. Ouch. Good achievement. Complete the prologue. Oh. Dr. Hill. Looking better than ever. Before we begin. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. 
You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. I will do that. Mystery gloved man. Scarecrow! I'm going to answer differently to my, um, let's play, because why not? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, a little uneasy, why not? Okay. That's what makes me feel happy, Honesty I think. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Scarecrow. He's so weird, this guy, honestly. I'm not sure. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, what are you? Is there something in the house? Um. No, it's not there. What the hell? <laughs> That's weird. That's a weird response. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? I actually don't know how this really goes. Is this threat real, or is it something in your imagination? Um, it's in my head. Oh, you seem to possess a very active imagination. Apparently I do. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. That is the shortest therapy session ever. And it didn't help. I just find those things a bit weird though, I said this before. What does this pitch make you feel? What's the, what is the right, what's the right answer? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Say it makes you feel weird or scared or lonely. What does it mean? Until dawn. I still love this game if you, again if you buy it even like cheap on like ps4 the old version of the game highly recommend it i think the price is probably a little bit higher and there needs to be a bit of optimization as well we are surprised if they rushed it a little bit to be honest i don't know
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Sheriff Annie Klein was in charge of the Thanks for having me, Lori. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Ten hours until dawn. <laughs> Could be the longest ten hours of our life. <laughs> I think that guy's like, why have they turned up again? After a year, you weirdos. That's what he's thinking. Sam. I mean, she's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. She can climb as well. She's a good climber. Hello? Someone there? So, yeah, very interesting version of the game. Again, not everyone has a PS5 that has a PC. Um, I don't know what optimization would be like when we start turning down some of the settings and stuff like that. I guess we could try it out now, actually, before we finish the video. Um, if we turn off... I must admit, the ray tracing is very tempting, though. So it was the... Uh, where was it? Shadows, isn't it? Turn off that. Let's just keep ray tracing on, but turn off these. Let's see if we can get much more performance. Also, obviously, got the up upscaler as well. So we could go for... DLSSS. We've got frame generation, obviously, available as well. Um, could have it set to quality. Let's see how that runs. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Damn, okay. <laughs> That's a lot better. Uh, sure. I wonder what the main issue is. That's, that runs so much better. Okay, fair enough. Fair play game, fair play. Uh, if we turn on... Some more ray tracing. That's that's with frame generation off, right? Oh, it's enabled. Oh, that's why. Okay. What disabled that? Do you not want frame generation on there? Confirm. Well, how does it run now then? 
Okay, it's, it's not a massive jump. Frame generation definitely helps. The gate is closed. Oh, what? What the hell? Damn it. I think Chris is already here. Chris was the guy the um that had the uh makeup on his face. Do we see much of him actually in the intro? Oh. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I failed already. Go back into the. But there's a tiny Aww. bit. Little squirrel. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? I'm trying to. It's kind of awkward actually, but it kind of works. I imagine when it's particularly tense, particularly at the end, they're gonna go a bit, a little bit more tricky, baby. What other settings can we turn on? What would be a good setting to turn on? Um, I reckon maybe ray trace for reflections, maybe? Let's turn these all back on. Also, we've got DLSS on now as well, which will help. Let's see how it runs. Yep. Did I definitely save the settings there? That's mad. DLSS does help. <laughs> A little known facts. Is it definitely on? Ray tracing's definitely on. All right. Fair play. Yeah, okay, there we go. It doesn't seem... Hello? Definitely seems a lot better with DLSS on. Chris, are you here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I don't think Chris is in the bag. Hello. What do we have here? I think this time I'm gonna snoop. Um, snoop. I'm gonna snoop, snoop. I think it's Ashley. Aha! Look who it is. Read it. He knows it. Chris. a lack of trust there already. <laughs> you scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. W where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. All right. We are going to pause it here. Um, yeah, we have a... So it's starting to tank again here, isn't it? Tiny bit. If you have a good enough PC, you can really give it a good old test. To put it that way. Um, I thought it's going to be like a dedicated drive for the game. I'm guessing there'll be a bit, a bit more optimization as well, but again, if this is it's Halloween and you really want to play a new game, I, I can still kind of recommend it. It's quite expensive though. Maybe wait for like a, a slight price decrease or so. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon and bye-bye.